Hey there everybody, this is the Dax speaking and in today's show I'm going to be discussing a new powerlifting method that I have been uh, trying for the past week and I'm going to tell you why I did it. First off, I, I don't really know if I can be considered still a novice or not. I've been training since September 2013, so around nine months. Some people are still novices, some people aren't. Uh, how can we um, know? Well, uh, what characterizes a novice is the, um, is that a novice can make a, a linear progression, meaning that it can um, increase uh, the weight he's um, he or she is uh, uh, lifting from training session to training session. If uh, the novice, for instance, uh, does um, workouts uh, every Monday, uh, Wednesday, and Friday, then uh, he should be able to recover from the from a, a novice like volume and uh, be able to lift, let's say, two two and a half pounds more or five pounds more in the the leg driven lifts uh, from workout to workout. Uh, I cannot do that. Okay, I cannot do that. But what can I say? Um, maybe I can't do that because of my age. I'm 33, almost 34. I feel great, but things are what they are. And um, since I cannot really do that, uh, either it is because I'm doing more volume than I can recover from or I'm not doing or I'm simply not able to uh, and that might have to do with I'm not a novice anymore I think in my case the problem has to do with recovery because I work out a lot a lot not not only by the standards of a 30 something year old. I mean, I work out a lot. I work out at least nine hours per week. So I have like three tra training sessions and they don't last um, any less than three hours each. For instance, so that you um, can understand what I do, I start by doing a almost half an hour of warm up, mobility work. Okay, I can uh, start with. Uh, right now I'm, I'm starting with like I run I run around I skip rope I do some uh, rows with the stretch bands uh, to engage the, the lats and the posterior delts and uh, loosen up my shoulders that's good for the shoulder press I do some uh, body weight squats I do some uh, clams you know, some mobility dr drills for the hips, with bands also, and then I start with my lifts. Uh, right now, I'm, I, w I was doing uh, uh, the squat two times a week, I was doing the, the deadlift two times a week, I was doing bench three times a week, so, and after the open box, because I'm in the CrossFit box, after doing my strength, or uh, workout. I usually do an hour long CrossFit class, and I maybe mean, you don't know, but CrossFit is really demanding. You have to have huge work capacity, it's functional high intensity exercise executed for time or for number of reps. And, um, well, it's amazing cardio, but it also has the strength and skill components. So, after a powerlifting workout to do a CrossFit class three times a day, uh, I mean three times a week at 33, um, coming to it from a totally non-conditioned uh, state uh, like I was, it's uh, I think it's an admirable and I think it's dangerous and in my case it was dangerous and I I've I've had injuries, not 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 huge injuries or anything like that, but um, I have problems with my shoulder. I have I have had issues with my knees, so I'm far from perfect. Uh, but in this case, I have um, 
started to um, incorporate the the method, which is considered an intermediate uh, method, which is called the text. Okay, and I'm doing it like uh, Monday. It's the volume day where I do five sets of five with around 85% of my 5RM and uh, that 5RM was calculated the previous Friday so with every Friday in this method you will do one set of five for your personal record okay and it's usually the 5RM you'll be increasing your 5RM every freaking week on Friday and for one set only so you will not be doing a lot of volume overall um, because volume is the multiplication of the load times the red number okay so you, you won't be doing all that volume and on Monday it's the volume day because you do 25 reps but it's 85% of your 5 RM so you can do it pretty pretty well and that will give you the stimulus to increase your uh, hypertrophy and especially your strength okay on Wednesday you will do a very light uh, recovery day training session where you will be working with 80 to 85 percent of your Monday weight so let's say that I I, I have a, a 5 RM on the squad of 108 kilograms for five okay I worked last Monday with 93 kilograms which is a little more than 85% because I, I don't have micro plates in my box. I know it's dumb, but what can I say? They don't invest in it. I've asked, and they're not interested in it. I can't do anything about it except asking and asking and asking from time to time. From time, to time. So uh, I had to work with 93 kilograms for five sets of five. And also on the bench, I work with 68 inst instead of 66 because I can't. Uh, but whatever. Then I work with 80 kilograms on the squat on, fr on, on Wednesday for two sets of five. That's what you do on Wednesdays. You do two sets of five with 80% of your Monday weight. So this gives you like over 72 hours to really recover from your volume day, from, from your Monday session. Um, you just added a little bit of extra volume on Wednesday and on Friday you're supposed to be at your top game and you'll be trying to increase your PR that's what I did I did 110 times 5 which was my, my objective I was feeling so good I did an extra 6 uh, I did a, an extra rep so I'm 110 times 6 doesn't matter I'll be doing it as, as if I had uh, just achieve my goal so next session I'll be working with 85% of 110 and next Friday I intend to try 113 times 5 okay and the 83 kilograms times 5 on the bench so I will keep you posted about that Texas method looks great for older people in my opinion because it gives you the extra time to recover and it's especially if you 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 do other work besides the powerlifting training like I do the hit training of CrossFit. So you're you're doing you're 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 already doing so much work that it's great that you know you're not doing uh, three times a day three heavy sets on all exercises. It, that's just nuts. And I was doing I was training like a nut man. So that's that one that's my problem. Sometimes doing less is doing more. Less volume, less less load, but a load that you can recover from. So that when you train again, you're in the super compensated state where you'll be exponentiated, you'll be exponentiating your gains. So that's what I uh, recommend that you self um, auscultate, whatever. Self-regulate. You, you're, you're, you're looking at yourself. You're, you're examining how you feel, and uh, experiment. Okay. Don't assume that doing more work will get you more gains because it will, it won't necessarily. Maybe hypertrophy gains. Maybe it will. Maybe. Uh, given 
correct uh, nutrition and correct recovery uh, and correct but the question is you can't really do the correct recovery if you're doing so much volume that you can't you can't really recover from training session to training session so you'll be um, let's let's uh, let's say you're here I don't know where you are. Let's say you're here, this point, and you train, and you have to go to a recovery. So you're 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 weaker, and then you're going to recover. You're going to suppress the baseline, and you're going to be stronger. Okay, that's the cycle, the stress recovery adaptation cycle. But if you train too early, maybe you're just training when you're as strong as you were last time or maybe you're you're not even at the point you were last time so you're going to be going through another cycle where you're going to be depressed on your on your strength so you, you can actually get weaker by doing a lot of work that's that's stupid as shit don't you think you'll be busting your ass off to become weaker because you'll be, you'll be going to be annihilating your muscles you're going to be annihilating your central nervous system it's not how much you train per se. It's how much you train in relation to the stress recovery adaptation cycle. So you need to experiment and uh, adjust your next training session to the point where you're fully recovered. So you'll be you'll be stronger the next time you train than you were in the last time. And then you go through another cycle. Hopefully you'll get the stock like increases in gains so that's what i had to say be cool my bros and sisters